When looking for a new digital camera, a lot of people spend a lot of time looking at all the technical specifications uh, for the camera they're buying, and, and that's where a lot of their time and energy is spent. For me, it's more about the category of the camera that fits your lifestyle, what you want to do with it first, and then look at the technical. Now, the thing is about technical settings, if you can buy a camera, no matter how new it is to the market, it's old technology. Because new technology is already on the drawing board, camera manufacturers have plans five and ten years out. So the technology, by the time you can buy it, is actually old technology, and new technology is on the drawing board and will appear in the camera they come out with next year, and the year after that, and the year after that. So going completely by, okay, latest, greatest technology, uh, it's going to fade pretty quickly because we're talking technology. Now, there were some incredible photographs made uh, for fashion covers, for travel photographs, for weddings, for families, uh, for nature photos uh, using 10-year-old technology 10 years ago because that's the newest, latest technology they had then, but right now it's 10-year-old technology. And the technology in the camera you can buy today will be old technology 10 years from now. The thing is, a great photographer uses the technology that they have. And so great covers of magazines, incredible photographs were taken, like I say, 10 years ago with 10-year-old technology. So when you're looking to buy a digital camera, I wouldn't put too much emphasis on, okay, this is the latest and greatest technology because there's better technology coming along. And I usually tell people, especially if you're buying a camera where you can take the lens off of it, every three to five years, I replace the camera body and you replace the technology with new technology. So going completely with which one has the best technology, uh, if you really want to do that, you can, but understand the technology you buy right now is going to become old technology very quickly. So the first thing I would do in buying a digital camera is find the category that fits you best. Are you going point and shoot? Are you going DSLR? Are you going mirrorless? Are you going with a large sensor, a medium, or a small sensor? How long of a lens do you want to zoom? So there are some very important considerations for finding the best camera for you and how you want to use it. So after you've made those decisions, then you may want to look at the technology uh, comparing different brands and different models within that category and with all the other different decisions you've made, looking at the cameras that fit that and see who has the technology that you like the best. But I wouldn't start out just looking at technology. I would narrow it down to the type of the camera that you want and all the other things and then look at technology uh, for the ones that fit that category. We hope you've enjoyed these photography tips. If you'd like help getting started with your digital camera, you may want to check out our Top 10 Digital Camera Settings Worksheet. Looking at your digital camera, there are lots of buttons and symbols and settings of which can be confusing. Our Top 10 Digital Camera Settings Worksheet will help you learn where these settings are on your camera and the buttons and dials you must use to set them. This worksheet is a great way to get started learning your digital camera. Being able to look at your digital camera and know what the different settings are and how to set them is a great feeling. Knowledge is always your best camera accessory. Download the Top 10 Digital Camera Settings Worksheet at easyphotoclass.com to start learning your digital camera settings today. To go to our website, click on our logo at the top of the page for great photography downloads and workshops. To subscribe to our channel, click on our logo in the lower left to enjoy more great photography videos. You can also click on the video image in the lower right to enjoy our next video. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk with you soon.